you gotta be their dad or something. Yeah. yeah. All right, we are back with more of the dating game. I am almost healthy again. Yeah. Um, I'm as ever. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I looked this up. Uh, I believe Vake Chi does indeed mean... Uh, idiot? Yeah, idiot. Yeah, baka. In Korean. Google Translate. Uh, Korean baka. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, let's see if I, I... I don't think I really gave her voice much. Except um, for being a brat. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay. Uh, Byunte Baek Chi. <laughs> Something like that. All right, let's go. <coughs> and if you yeah. and if you think I'm somewhat sniffly and like horse, it is because I, you know, have either I've have either had the flu or the coronavirus for the last couple of weeks. So you know, uh, bear with me. <clears throat> let's try my best here. <laughs> There's the Yunji I know and love. Now that I've had a chance to settle in, I notice that the girls aren't wearing the robes from the hotel either. They're in civilian attire. I'm the only one dressed in a shitty pastel robe. Oh no! <clears throat> oh no, what hijinks will, will ensue? Wait, am I the only one who decided on a robe? Uh, there's no way I'd call, be caught dead in one of those. Yes, they probably haven't been washed in years. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, you two. I feel ridiculous now. There's nothing wrong with a man wearing a feminine collar. Only something wrong with him wearing a woman's robe. What? <laughs> Judgy. That would explain why I'm having so much trouble finding one that fit. Anyway, weren't we supposed to partake in some entertainment about now? Yes, but there's only a couple of things to choose from, as you can see. The selection of things to entertain ourselves does seem to be somewhat limited. The ping pong table looks relatively unused. Guess it's not the, not the most popular activity here. The karaoke machine appears to be in good order, as best as I can tell. No television or radio, guess that makes sense, we aren't exactly in Korea's typical broadcasting range, anyway. But there's a bar, hooray for booze! Yay! I think the girls have already decided what they want to do. Booze. I hope they have some modern music on this machine. Does it have anything by David Bowie's sister? I'll check. At first glance, it doesn't appear to. It's very modern music. Yeah. Heathens! Best music singer ever. Modern? What years do you guys think? Take a look at the, tra at the track list. Dear God. It's like the 80s still lives in Korea. And there's even some 70s scatters about too, which Ji Young seems rather excited about. Oh, oh, I see something I want to sing. I'll go first. Okay, we'll relax and listen then. Yunji and I take our spots on the rug and Ji Young punches some buttons on the machine. A few seconds later, she's singing a lively rendition of some 70s pop song. And what's more, she's really good at singing. I'm not a huge fan of the genre. But I can't help but get a little funky uh, to Gian scene, so I find myself dancing. <laughs> okay, uh, as well as one can dance sitting on the floor, it's really more just grooving with my head and shoulders. When she's finished, both Yunji and I are clapping for her rousing performance. This is so unfair, Ji Young. You've gotten even better since the last time. Well, thanks, sister. I've been practicing in the shower every morning. Oh no, don't measure the shower. 
it really shows. You could give K-pop a run for her money. Well, not that she'd have much since... Not that... Not that she'd have much since you've long ad admitted that your country's currency is worthless. Wow. And nobody really gets paid for these for the arts here anyway. That compliment seems really shallow in this country, doesn't it? Wow, I judge you. You meant well. I appreciate your kind words that mean much more in your country. Where pop stars get paid more than teachers and soldiers. Touche. True. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, like, feel North Korea here, you know? There, there's something, something going on here. <laughs> you feel, the, feel the, the power of the single star? Yes. Very much, yeah. I think it's your line. Yeah, something is... is... I don't know. Um... Probably fine now. <laughs> if we're done comparing the relatively unfair pay structures in our countries, I think I've so found something I'd like to sing. Uh -huh. Don't make me sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it! I feel like they would do it like in English, you know? Uh -huh. uh, this time, Jiang and I relax on the rock, and Yunji takes a uh, turn uh, rocking the mic. All right, I'm lined up, I'm ready. Looks like Yunji's gone for retro 80s, also known as the current hits in Korea. And she's singing like she's the solo star at Pyongyang's biggest stadium. We've been there. We have, yeah, we've seen it. Which I've recently learned is the biggest in the world, actually. Because, really? you know, infrastructure ever food, I guess. Oh, really? <laughs> is it actually that, or is it just that the, I, the regime you know, says that? I feel like they have that giant statue of yeah. like, the socialist dream or something. So maybe... I feel like if you have like the pyramids were built right they're really big uh, that statue is something mm -hmm. stalin 2 oh stalin 2 <laughs> oh things that we could have done together if you weren't so crazy it killed me <laughs> <laughs> absolutely fucking mad <laughs> She's pretty good, but she does have the contemporary vocal range to stay consistently interesting. Her voice lacks the consistent color needed to perform to minimum music industry standards. Wow, someone is a critic. Yeah. Full-time consideration of another endeavor might be in order. Oh! Oh, while I was narrating, you'd you finish? I'd better, <laughs> I'd better clap for her. Oh, wow. Patronize the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, Yunji. You've improved as a singer as well. Yeah, <laughs> slow clap. Like, mm -hmm. oh my god. What did you think, Ranakai? <sighs> Full time considera. <laughs> I mean, you were very good, Yunji. Mm -hmm. Maybe not K pop idol good, but it was a pleasant performance. Wow. What if, <laughs> man. Like it's like, if you ask me, was that a good session? I was like, it was pleasant. <laughs> like, how would you take that? You know, it was maybe not, like, shouldn't yeah. pop, you know, maybe not. Mm. Mm. I mean, you know, I... Some of the themes were good. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you, that's even too uh, different, man. I feel like, ugh. Mm. I should... Yes, the windows even seem to have stayed intact this time. Wow. Don't ever find your body out there, you know? I'm teasing, sister. Anyway, I believe it's a guest's turn to entertain us. Very true. Here we are now. Entertain us. But the lights are on. Anyway, fair is fair, so relax and I'll go pick a song. Both girls nod, smile, and sit down as I head up to the karaoke machine. I really wasn't kidding about modern mu the modern music thing. There is not much past 1989 on this machine's selection screen. Mm -hmm. There are a few selections here that I think I can pass off as a, de as a decent effort with my voice range. Gotta go with the folk music, right? You know, America. 
Really? <laughs> Yank Doodle or something. Oh no, I don't know, man. South Carolina, I'm, top I'm... top 60s. I don't know. I mean, what would you pick? I would probably pick 80s pop because I was actually alive then. <laughs> you know, it also worth that. That's what Hyunji said she loved. Exactly. That's a good thought. You know, you're yeah. keeping the, hitting the game here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to think. <laughs> 80s synth kick in, strut the stage a bit and nail the, the chorus. Time to rock the refrain. Well, the slightly modified refrain. Checking my audience. Ji Young seems to be listening like one would in a core, core class forced on you by university standards. Well. But Junji, she's banging her head and whipping her hair around like she's one of my groupies. It's kind of cute, really. Well, someone let loose. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. At some point during my performance, the strange girl from the hot spring has worked her way into the entertainment area. She's still in her suit, though. I wonder why she didn't don a robe like me or civvies like the girls. After I finish my number, she steps up to us and starts speaking. Well, I think it's speaking. It's a bit slurred, though. Guess she got more soju after all. Was this like a CIA like simulation matrix no thing idea. going on? Like no that? idea who this is. Who, who did this? Yes, I think I I was doing this one. Sure. Go ahead. I. Mm. I'm trying to remember what what I did. I was hoping I'd find my favorite two hotties here, and lowly boy. Well, that's a pity. Kick robe really does fit him well, though, doesn't it? That shirt on your busty sister isn't leaving much to the imagination. Good God. Don't talk about busty sister, please. Why does everything come back to Ji Young being busty? God, you people. Feisty, I like this one. I'll take them both. Uh... Now it's getting weird. No, it's not getting weird now. It's been weird for a while, but yeah, I, I you know. I mean, no, I feel like that comment was a fourth wall thing for us. <laughs> now it's going to get weird, to be honest. Oh, yeah, now it's going to get weird. Okay, sure. Oh, don't be such a downer, kid. Fresh fresh bottle of soju here. I'll even let you have a drink with us. Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I need to freshen up. Wow. So, how about that drink, lowly boy? I wouldn't be much of a marine <laughs> if I don't have a drink, even from... What's your name, anyway? Just call me Sumuragi. I'm here in business. <laughs> business. What sort of business brings someone all the way out here? Sumuragi pours me a small dish of soju. Import export, though what I really deal in are secrets. Oh. Goodness. Ah, maybe I even know all of yours. I sure hope not. What secrets do we have? I don't know. Dark, twisted she's secrets. She's obviously not very good at her job. If she's telling that to us, half sober at a hotel. <laughs> Maybe she's like the worst agent they have and they just sent her away to get rid of her. To North Korea? Yeah, dumped her in North Korea. That would be kind of funny. I doubt that. Jiang and I are both in the People's Army. There's nothing we have to hide.
Think what you like. It hardly matters what you believe. All that really matters is what other people believe about you. Hmm. I like blackmail. So let's trade secrets. About what in particular? Nope. I'll pose question a question to you. You can either answer it or take a challenge of my choosing instead. Uh, that sounds a lot like truth or dare, you know. Nonsense. That game is just child's play. My game involves getting her to open up a little. Mm. Why should I play along with your weird idea of a game? What are you, chicken? Bark. He's down there. I'm going to get the brunt of whatever anger you can... Nobody calls me chicken. Bring your stupid questions. Well, this sounds interesting. <coughs> or should be. <coughs> okay. What color panties are you wearing right now? Excuse me, Malachi. What did you say? Why would you ask that question? <laughs> To watch you blush going to answer or would you like the dare i mean challenge uh, it's a curse always being right hush you that, what is that face she has she's like oh yeah, she's like oh. <laughs> <laughs> fine What's your challenge if I don't answer the question? Nothing too stressful. Just give me a nice kiss on the lips. This isn't good. Well, what's your choice? Oh boy. <laughs> I, I, I choose... You don't have to choose, you know well, that, right? Thing. You can just, like, people's army hurt, you know? Sorry for the wait. Hey, I know. How about you sing us a song on the karaoke machine, strange lady? Yunji appears to have been saved by Ji Young's appearance. You want a song? I can do that. Oh, I know just the song I'll sing. She gets up to the karaoke machine where she punches in a couple of buttons. Before the music starts, she grabs a surprised Yunji by the hand and drags her up with it. I hate audience participation. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? This song is perfect for you. I know a personality that it's, it's one of the glorious leader's favorite. Mm. With that, she bust, bursts right into a rap song that that's past the typical release date for music in Korea. Guess that explains why Gloria's leader was name dropped here. Oh, and Yunji's going to kill this girl. I'd better get that body back. It's the last date killed the girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like nice butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Uh, does she have a death wish? Oh, good. Who are thinking the same thing? Think they have any body bags here? Yunji is getting flustered and doesn't seem to be able to react to the situation. The situation? Yes. Baby got ass. <laughs> sure. I'll say I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I am uh, I'm not uh, familiar with uh, to me, the song. it's a slam poetry, you know? I don't need uh, instant replay to review that this lady just grabbed a handful of Yunji's ass while spitting out the refrain. I feel like this is getting non-consensual. 
Mm, yeah. Yunji goes from fluster to an all-out murderous rage. I think she's had as much as she can stand, and she can't stand no more. That does it. I'll give Yunji credit. She didn't kill the lady. Uh, you know, something. But I'm sure every one of her ancestors felt the impact of the slap Yunji just landed on her. I thought Yunji would be like a f fist sort of person. No. Flat hand. Yeah. I, I agree. Like a, like a karate kick, you know? And with the soju consumption, this lady's out cold. Put her in the pool. A few seconds of grab as was worth the splitting headache she'll have when she wakes up. I'm dragging this woman's drunk ass to the brig. Go back to the room and I'll bring back some soju. Drinking with you under the table when I get back. So pissed, I can't even bring myself to correct her incorrect jargon. And is the better part of not having me feeling Yunji's second slap. A shot of the night. There's one thing that bothers me, though. <laughs> what is it? Wait, this place has a brig? <laughs> what resort does it have a brig? Head back to the room to wait for the soju. Oh, and Yunji, I guess, since she's bringing it. A few minutes later, Yunji is back with several bottles of fire water. We're all exhausted, uh, so we get our drinks on mostly in silence. However, it's worth noting that for her bravado of drinking with us under the table, Yunji is the first one to pass out. Hmm. Guess Yunji is uh, lightweight when it comes to liquor. <sighs> she talks a big game. But she has yet to drink anyone under the table. At least we're already where we're sleeping. So it's nice change and not to have to uh, drag her passed out body home. Nothing else after that is said. I help Ji Young truck Yunji into bed and Ji Young gets in next to her. I crawl into my makeshift futon. Uh, after the long trip and the soju, I'm really beat. There's always tomorrow. So sleepy time now. And this holiday has just been a mess. Yeah. Oh. Yunji, quickly now. Wake up, Ranakai. We're so far behind we won't get to do much today if we don't get moving. How did this happen? I'm sure I left the wake-up call on the desk. Desk. I don't know. But get him up quickly. Maybe we can still go to see Rim Jong Su Falls before heading back home. Understood. Ranakai, wake up now. Smack. Uh, no wakey. <laughs> if you don't wake up in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to slap you harder than I slapped that woman who drunkly assaulted me last night. Wow. Yeah. I'm awake, I'm awake. Leave my handsome face alone. Uh, you two seems awfully down for being on vacation. 
We've overslept, and pretty badly at that. It appears the staff did not honor our wake-up call request. Either that or someone forgot to put one in. I did not forget. The staff forgot. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Anyway, what's the story? The last train to Pyongyang leaves at an earlier time today, so we won't have much time to do much of anything. I was thinking after breakfast we could go <coughs> see from Yonsu Falls before heading back home. Alright, sounds like a plan. Is it like a waterfall or something? Not just a waterfall, but a spectacular com conglomeration of 42 waterfalls that cascade into the Rang Rim Yonsu River. Oh my. It's a really beautiful spectacle of Korea's natural beauty unspoiled by Western capitalist poison. <laughs> well done, sister. You finally memorized the tour guy's phrase for Yongsu Falls. Alright, that sounds beautiful. Mine is to be a spiel about capitalism. I've brought our breakfast here. Let's eat and get changed quickly so we can hike over there. Let's do it! We quickly hustle around, getting changed and eating cold noodles and beef. Before long, we've made the short hike to Ram Yongsu Falls. I have to admit, the beautiful spectacle of Korea's natural beauty line wasn't just propaganda. Ram Yongsu Falls is truly a spectacle with its layered multiple waterfalls that empty into the river below. Uh, the two girls that have accompanied me here are also beautiful spectacles of Korea's natural beauty. Oh, come on. Are you an angel? <laughs> <laughs> you you can't just say things like that out of nowhere, Bekchi. She says she blushes at the unexpected compliment. I wasn't supposed to be said out loud, but I won't take it back. Mama didn't raise a liar. Well, at least not a very good liar. I'd fall in polit fail in politics. Oh-ho! It's not like I hate being called beautiful and being compared to a gorgeous waterfall. Mm. You know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're blushing too, sister. No, that's just sunburn. Way, we haven't been out for long enough. Besides, okay. everyone knows the hole in the ozone layer is only over evil countries like America and Nippon. Well, um... I don't think that's how ozone works, necessarily. Okay, yes, I'm blushing. At least I'm not acting like a tsundere. You two keep saying that word, but I have no idea what it means. It... Basically means you're terrible at expressing your honest feelings, so you act like an ice queen. <sighs> but when people find a breakthrough, you show you're a nice, caring person. I still don't understand. Oh, don't worry about it. Half the otakus in the world will, uh, will love you for it. And the other half that don't will still check you out your CGs anyway. Now I don't that's, want to see that's like a <laughs> character art. It's like uh, oh. you get like a, a, a complete screen with them, them in a sexy pose, pretty much. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. It mm -hmm. is exactly what you think it is. Mm -hmm. Now that's settled. What do you think about the waterfalls? Oh, it's really beautiful. Uh, it's not as high as the Niagara Falls, but the way there are so many of them in layers is truly breathtaking. 
As I'm watching the waterfalls, I hear something plink into the river in front of us. Turning to the other side, I know Junji appears to be praying. The great leader bathing. Not too soon after, I hear plink from the other direction, and sure enough, Chiyang playing praying. Making wishes. Yes, I know it seems a tad childish, but it's kind of fun. Perhaps you should make a wish, maybe for love, or a personality to, re to develop. Wow. I guess it couldn't hurt. I could wish for you and you to be nice. <laughs> Don't you want to make a wish that might actually come true? It seems two passengers have forgotten who's driving the car back to the train for a little bit. Quite right. Uh, anyway, I'll make a wish. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> you know. No, we, we are committed, right? We're probably going to die anyway. Like some salt mine. Yunji's yeah. happiness? Yeah, Yunji's happiness. What the... I put out a euro from my pocket. Looks like this one is from Greece. I bet if I gave this back to the Greek government, it would be it would be it would double what they have in their bank account. <laughs> mm -hmm. As I toss the coin into the river, I wish for a wish for Yunji's happiness. Why did you waste a wish like that? But I'm grateful you thought of me. I forgot my whispering tends to be a bit louder than other people's. Oh well, Yunji seems happy, so it's fine. we will better make our way back to the car. If we miss the train, I'll throw everything off schedule and you might not make your flight home. What, we're going home? Oh. Oh yes, it's getting close to your departure date, isn't it? I didn't know. I didn't know we were let home? out. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, it's called Stay, Stay, North Korea. Uh, maybe sometimes in the future you could both come to America, visit where I live. Oh, boy, no. That would be nice, I think. But I believe it would be hard for us to get to America. Travel to foreign countries, especially enemy countries, is frowned upon in Korea. We would need outside help in order to get to America. If only we knew. So on. Uh, I don't know if there is much I can do, uh, but I think I can help in any way. I, if I can help in any way, I will. I believe you would. That makes me happy to hear. Maybe someday we'll take you up on that offer. But for now, let's go back home. The hike back is uneventful. And as soon as we get back to gather up our things and head back to the car. To say Yunji's driving improved, but as stated, I'm a terrible liar. Before long, we're back on a train to Pyongyang, and uh, it's not all that crowded, but the silence is uncomfortable. Hmm. I can't shake this feeling that something's going on with those two that they aren't really telling me. Great, Jiyoung is reading, and Yunji is sleeping. Sounds like a good idea. I, this was the thing in this game. Everyone sleeps. Constantly. I actually had a thought, like, 
I, I Aaron thought a couple of days ago when I was like, I, there was a game that I played recently because everyone was sleeping. What game was that? And I couldn't for the life of me like remember what game it was. But this is it. No, I mean we we overslept so all day and we sleep we sleep now in the train, we sleep in the car. It's it's in transition, that's sleeping. Everyone sleeps everywhere. I figure we're going to do something special for the last day before I get back to the States. Be well rested for it. <laughs> Back from our short mountain getaway together. And despite the temperature resembling the time I got drilled in Alaska. When I was assigned to Alaska, not drilled in the, you know, what, moving on. Biologist drilling in Alaska upsets me. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty uneventful. There weren't many people on the train, so no seat incidents to worry about. The return was definitely faster than the trip up there, though. I mean, we're actually home, and it's not even past national curfew. As soon as we get home, the girls retreated to their room, and waste much time in getting into bed. Since I'm back, heading back to America soon, I didn't really see the need to unpack my bag from the trip. Just laying here on the bed, contemplating if, it sh if I should go say something to the girls or just fall asleep for the night. Guess there's a third option after all. Wait until one of the girls comes to see me. I'm decent. Come in. So uh, I thought I'd come see what you were up to. Mm. Still roughly around. Six, <coughs> six foot one or so? I don't think I'll hit any more growth spurts. <laughs> Why do you always come back at me with the lamest jokes? Do you enjoy teasing me so much? If that doesn't seem not in the mood for dad jokes, I don't know what does. Oh. Sorry. You're kind of fun to tease. Which is a good thing. Guys tend to tease girls they enjoy being around. You, you enjoy being around me? Baka. Well, that's why I went to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Go far to get some, uh, get some love here. Well, sure, why wouldn't I? At the moment. Because I'm always saying mean things to you and acting like I don't like you. It's not really true. Oh. I never thought you really meant most of it. You seem to have a hard time expressing yourself. Plus, you just sold yourself out. Acting like I don't like you implies you, in fact, do like me. Uh, maybe I misspoke. Maybe. I'm having a hard time reading Yunji. Well, even harder than I normally do. She seems to be struggling to not fall back on her usual Sundere routine. Is something the matter? Uh, you can talk to me if you want. I'll listen. 
and I guess it's never been easy for me to say what I'm thinking. I always been in my sister's shadow. Oh, it's a very curvy shadow. <laughs> that would help. And at the same time, I feel embarrassed for thinking that way. But still, we have to kill her tonight. <laughs> the only way. It's her ease in picking up English. The way guys always look at her. Come on, say you want to wear her skin or something. Just oh, ew! <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just feel inferior to her, no matter what I do. The only thing I can claim to be better than her at would be shooting. Which brings us to my point. I'm not sure why you feel inferior. You're your own person and cute in your own way. I'm not cute. Stop that. Baka. You are cute. Why won't you take a compliment from me? How am I ever supposed to tell you how much I like you when you won't even let me tell you you're cute? Wait, what am I admitting right now? Did I just tell Yunji that I liked her? Well, I like you too. I mean, wait, no, I won't stop myself this time. I love you, Ranakai. She's sincere. <laughs> this is coming right from her heart. Yeah, it is. She deserves a truthful answer in return. It's going to be a choice. It's going to be a choice here. Oh. I love you too, Yunji. I'll leave you to go hit on Jian. The did you just tell me you love me too? Mm. Maybe. Yes, I did. Teasing me, right? Please don't tell me you aren't. My heart can't take that kind of teasing. I don't tease about important things like this. Want to be around, and I've fallen heads over heels for you. Oh my god! Oof, thud. Yunji pulled her uniform off in a flash. As if to make sure it's real, she tackle hugged me to the bed and is showering me with kisses. Gosh. I'm trying my best to return them, but she's pe pe peppering me with them like a machine gun. Hey, mind if I... just to breathe? Above her as I regain my breath. Oh, no! <laughs> well then nights ago when they helped me with English. Sure, I remember. But uh, what does that have to do with the here now? Oh no. One more word. <laughs> what other word? Oh. Tour guide, would I be if I didn't give you the best Korea has to offer? Uh, you just say something flirty. Completely normal situation. I want to get used to it. I'm claiming you as mine, you know. No sharing with the people, eh? I'm more equal than the rest of the populace, and I don't share. 
Oh, gosh. There's people who are equal, and there's people who are more equal. True. Uh, taking sailors' shore leave to get a little action, but this is entirely different. Oh, yo. Hey. I'm in love with this girl, and she's in love with me, and I can't leave her behind after shore leave is over. How do I go, go about making this happen more in the future? Defect to North Korea. I'm due to leave here in another day, and I doubt she can just waltz out with me. <coughs> she has actually fallen asleep atop of me like a cat. I'm not complaining, but it might make going to the bathroom a tad difficult. Maybe I should rest up as well, in case round two is on the way. I think I heard someone uh -oh. moving. Must be Jiang going to the bathroom. You're being spied upon? Probably. Ah, I guess I'll get that shut eye then. I'll be back in a sec. I just need to. Uh, go to pitch up for a bit. Okay.
Sorry about that. Uh, was like I, I'm airing out because it was like cooking yesterday and there was like some cooking spell still and uh, something fell over in the kitchen <laughs> from the from the wind. Oh yeah, I took a chance to eat my food. Mm. Yeah. Wait. Here. Uh, hi, young. Fancy running you into you here. Well, is it this in my own bedroom, you know? And here you went and deflowered my sister on my bed. Pretty nervy of you. I love it. <laughs> what is this conversation? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry for deflowering your sister. <laughs> what the fuck about it, guy? Oh, no. Stuff you never want to say to anyone. Sorry I deflowered your sister. <laughs> Things kind of got carried away. There wasn't a thinking, uh, really. Oh, I do believe you were uh, thinking with your head. Just not the one that could taste your brain. But it's okay. This is what I had hoped for. You did seem to be playing matchmaker at times, didn't you? I must admit you're pretty cute. I might have to lock in a closet and have my way with you myself. Whoa. I don't think even you would allow that. Oh, relax. I'm merely teasing. However, I'm afraid I do have something for you here that I'm not teasing you about. In the moonlight, I think I see something shiny. That a needle? Uh, what? There's a certain appearance that our leader needs you to feign. For the sake of our mission, this way seems easiest. <sighs> You don't have to do this. Whatever you're doing, let's talk it out. I'm afraid I do, but don't worry. This won't kill you, probably. Wait, what? She gently injects me with the needle? Mm. I feel like as a, as a marine, you want to prevent that. Yeah, it seems... <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, the remnants of sickness. This will just make you go to sleep for a while, but not permanently, I hope. But why? What did I do? Damn, it's full of stars. Sleepy stars. <laughs> it is full of stars. Okay, now where do what what happens now? That's the question. This is what we've been waiting for. Yeah. How else gonna are dating people in North Korea? <laughs> I want some crazy shit. Now now is the time for the crazy. I agree. That makes them go look back and say, Oh that oh that's why they okay. <laughs> yeah. Yup. Maybe there's sleeping pills in the kimchi or something. You only put in the recommend recommended dose, right? Yes, of course I did. Maybe. Help me dress him and let's take him to the rendezvous point. He wasn't even sleeping. He was laying on top of us to, to hold us down. Mm. That's a long con. That's a long con, yeah. I borrow him for one night sometime, please. Oh, no. I'll Burning. pretend I didn't hear that. Let's move. Let's get dark. They're weird. And what's what? What was with the weird like lady with the CIA and yeah, like no what idea. the fuck is going on? So groggy. Feels like I've been in a three day rager while on shore leave, and I'm just barely sobering up. Eyelids are so heavy. Need to take stock of my surroundings now. Oh god, oh man, that light is barely on and it, it feels like an inferno of a thousand suns. Whatever they stuck me with has given me the world's worst hangover. After a few moments more, things start to come into view. Not that much to see here, though. I'm in the plainest, emptiest room I've ever been in. 
The only things I can barely make out is a single door uh, occupied by a chair at the very far end of the room. And from the silhouette of the figure occupying the chair, I know it's not one of the girls, too masculine looking to be Ji Young or Yunji. I wonder where those two are. I'd like an explanation as to why they felt like they need to drug me and drag me to God knows where. That's you. I see you have rejoined the conscious world. Undoubtedly you have questions, Mr. Anderson. I'll try my best to guide you, though time is short. That voice. I recognize it. I've only heard it a few times since I've been in Korea. It, it is a gunnery sergeant. Uh, but it's one of the three I knew. <laughs> I know you. Our driver. Where am I? Oh! <laughs> Nani? <laughs> I am glad the drug didn't dull your senses too much. Yes, I have been driving you around Korea this week. My name is Namgong Kwang Jo, and I am the father of both Jiang and Yunji. Oh no! <laughs> Plot twist! Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Thank you for accompanying them these past few days, for you have given me hope. Hope? You mean I'm not going to die? Not at my hands, no. I, and hopefully not at all. Regardless, I have put you in danger by bringing you to Korea and associating you with my daughters. How, how so? I am, as you would say, a dead man walking. As are my girls. Oh no, is he like the lost leader of Korea? <laughs> oh no. The plot, Marika, it's, it's coming together. Maybe we have to smuggle them out. Oh man. Smuggle them in the game. We have to, we have to capture that boat they have in the harbor. The American boat. <laughs> Sail, away the the... <laughs> Sail away on that. Sail away on that. Oh man. Uh, my sight's not quite back yet it's pretty dark in here but you sound pretty healthy and Yeong and unji are both very healthy <laughs> it's not like that ranakai how much do you really know about the democratic people's republic of korea honestly not a whole lot reptile people oh, i want no. just a reptile the... oh man considering i fell oh, for <laughs> i fell for ilhansei pyongyang was a suburban part of seoul uh you probably have a good idea about my lack of awareness North Korea is a bloody dictatorship. Pick your poison. <laughs> Nani! <laughs> Alright. Uh, give, give me a sec. I just need to blow my nose. Bed right now. Hello? Sorry, coughing fit. <clears throat> you can just do it. We'll just say it's Enrikin. <laughs> Pick your poison. Our leader is made out to be a demagogue, and the one political party we have has a death grip on the nation. You've seen the results around here, and if it's, oh, I'm going to lead a revolution. Since assuming leadership of this country, Gloria's leader is suspected to you of executing at least 70 people, most of them potential political opponents and their families. It appears I have made his list as well. Are you saying you're going to be the target of political execution mandate by Gloria's leader? That's nuts. I mean, our leader is pretty annoying, but at least Hillary and Donald didn't kill each other's families and associates. Well, you know, not that we know of, right? Uh, they, they've already poisoned my wife to death. It's only a matter of time before they come for me and the girls. That's why I made a plan ahead of time. One to at least maybe save my girls. It hits me just now. North Korea? I'm in North Korea? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh... You're the one who invited me to Korea while playing Panzer models online, aren't you? <laughs> oh, 
Right. Mm-hmm. I pitched it as an idea to the party to lure an American soldier over and to create an international incident. In reality, I wanted you to meet my daughters and hopefully fall in love with Yunji, my youngest. That part must have worked, seeing as you're sitting here right now. Yes, in a roundabout way, Yunji and I have confessed our mutual love of each other. My precious youngest girl, I am happy she managed to express her feelings. The problem is, I'm not sure how to go about getting you out of the country safely. The brass are learning on leaning on me to turn you over soon on a charge I can trump up. My plan was to send you and the girls to the United States Embassy in Pyongyang, but that's a no-go. If I had to guess, relations with the USA have been so, uh, so sour for so long, we don't even have an embassy in Pyongyang, do we? No, you don't. I really should have made sure of that little fact before springing this plan. It appears Sweden is the protective power for the United States in North Korea. It's true. Sweden is the only Western uh, Western power uh, in that has an embassy in North Korea. And they have an embassy here, and it is very close to where I live. <laughs> I see it like every day I go to work back home. It is weird. It's a huge house. Every like The, the flag is up constantly. Everything is is like the blinds are drawn. You barely see anyone. There's a light in the on the top floor window in a corner, and the basement window is lit always. And they've also like put a huge fir tree in front of their uh, door. So I, I'm like, I have no idea what's going on in there. Looks like one of those Scientology buildings. Uh, yeah, that's a big gaping hole in the plan there. Sweden might take in, uh, take me in and send me back to the United States. Maybe. But there's no way they're getting involved with sheltering two North uh, Korean citizens. who are part of the People's Army, no less. I am aware of that. However, I do have a backup plan in place. He stands up. But I still can't make anything of his face. goes over to the door and opens it. Slowly both Yunji and Jia walk in. Be strong, girls. This ordeal will be over soon. Father, I can't leave you here to face death on your own. Please, reconsider coming with us. You know I can't go. But, but, Appa, I can't leave you here to die. My precious daughter, I wouldn't survive the trip. Though I built up a tolerance to the poisons our country uses, I am not immune. Even if I survived sneaking back into the shipyard one more time, I would perish on the journey. It, it is enough to know my girls lived on, safe and away from this godforsaken country. He's shaking, literally, and crying along with them. Feels like I'm going to cry myself. This will be the last time this father will get to hold his children and tell them that he loves them. Parents will attempt the impossible for their children. This man is trying to avoid the needless and senseless deaths of his daughters. Him! For my budding relationship with Yunji, for the love she bears Jiang, I must help him. <laughs> me and direct me here after actually engineering the whole thing. Sir, what are my marching orders? This isn't an army game, Ranakai. This is deadly serious. I'm serious. You think I don't know that, Yunji? This man is trying to ensure that two girl, two most precious beings on the planet to him don't die in a tragical, stupid fashion. I handle problems best when I compartmentalize them <coughs> in a military sense. <coughs> I like that the dad catfished him in pantomime. Yes! <laughs> to hook him up with one of his girls so they could be smuggled out of North Korea secretly through a shipyard. Oh, sorry. You have my gratitude, son. 
There is little time, so listen closely. We are in Nampo, a port city south of Pyongyang on the Taedong River, lay leading into the Yellow Sea. There is a large order of garments being exported from here today. It took a long time for them to finish the final batch, but it's a large enough shipment to put in a large metal shipping container. It's ventilized, uh, as they don't want the garments to grow musty in a closed container, so you'll be able to breathe. I've been slowly hiding rations and other vital items in the bins. You should be fine for food and water if you go easy on the supplies. Oh, so we're smuggling ourselves out by ship then. It was the only solution that came to mind. However, I don't know where the ship is heading. Likely China. However, it could be anywhere, from Europe to South America. That is a long trip. What are we going to do about needing uh, need to use the facilities? Really what? Yeah. There are a few buckets hidden in the clothing as well. We'll have to sneak out and empty them overboard at night to avoid the smell lingering. The container does open from the inside as well, as a safety precaution. Understood. How much time do we have? Precious little. I believe there are already authorities here in Nampo looking to apprehend us all. You'll need to find container DPRK 24601. It's on the ground, so access will be easy once you find it. It's on the ship called Destiny Favors Glorious Leader. <laughs> yes, one of my girls can point it out. Well, that's an overinflated name if I've ever heard one. I'll wait outside the door, uh, so you three can say your goodbyes. I am grateful. Please, do all you can to get them to America. Get them safely. Thing, but give him a knowing nod and a salute. I think if I tried to talk, I'd end up crying. Can't do that right now. I need to be on my game. A few minutes later, the girls come out, their eyes full of tears. Wow, wow, wow. Not that I blame them. They won't ever see him again. If we fail, we're dead. If we succeed, it doesn't matter. Since we can't come back, he'll be dead. This is Fifty Shades of Fucked Up. <laughs> I have to keep it together and be strong for them. You do, yes. I have an unspoken promise to keep. Let's go. The girls just nod and follow me out of the building. It doesn't look like the shipyard is too far from here. Which is good, because as we left the building uh, to head that way, I saw the People's Army soldiers heading right for the building we just left. They didn't notice us, though. Any ideas? Our best bet would be walking the path over there. We could try and sneak through the forest as best we can, and the trees may provide some cover. It's too dangerous to take the main road. Understood. Let's walk at a brisk pace. As we head over to the walking path, I quickly check my pocket. They put my wallet in, as well as my keys, so... Oh. And that crappy excuse for a cell phone. They put that in my pockets too. Hope it's turned off. Need to save the juice for when we reach our destination. I tried to put all the essentials back in your pockets when we dressed you. <laughs> but the rest of your stuff is back in our place, probably confiscated by now. Well, on the plus side, they can't hold that Tokyo Hotel band t-shirt against me. They both giggle a little at the memory. Good. I need something to get through this. We're making good progress. I haven't seen too many army soldiers. And we're able to avoid attention. Few that are. 
If we keep this up for 10 more minutes, we should get there. This is going too well. <laughs> are you trying to jinx this? What in the world are you talking about? Jinxing is... Just a stupid superstition. Don't worry about it. With that, with that, we can move along in silence. So far, Yunji's comment hasn't jinxed us. Yet. We're almost at the harbor now. We can smell freedom. <laughs> just as we're getting to the closer... Just as we're getting to the closer, a lone People's Army member appears. Kill him immediately. Yeah. He halts us and speak in, speaks Korean in a harsh tone. Civilians are not allowed here. And who is this guy? A tourist? <laughs> Where's your group and mine, though? I'm sweating bullets here. And we need to do something fast. We'll all be, swear be wearing bullets. Kill him. Have his fucking neck. <laughs> we are his minders. He wanted to see the area up close. You lie. You're not in uniform. Are you here on a sabotage mission? Stay put while I put a call into the commander. Screw that. Kapow! <laughs> you must defeat the gunny to stand a chance against me. Dear God, you jabbed out his eyes. I know that McMap move would come in handy one day. Wow, did we gouge out his eyes? What the fuck? He's laying there screaming. Ah! <laughs> oh God, I'm blind! We have plenty of time to explain <laughs> what the hell that was once we secure ourselves on the ship. Attract the blind and unconscious army member and hide him in a nearby tool shed. No one will find him there. Uh, we should be long gone before he comes to. I guess you did blind him. <laughs> Let's move, Young. Lead the way. It doesn't take long, and Young is looking. Uh, has us looking at the ship. With all the hustle and bustle getting the thing out of port, we're able to sneak aboard. There, container <coughs> DPRK24601. As we slip inside the metal container, I can't help but compare myself to uh, Jean Valjean. Right about. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I know. It's it's uh there's like a musical it's called <laughs> Lame the Miss. <laughs> okay. And and that's one of the characters in it. Oh. That's it's French. See. Si. Well look yes. at look at you knowing culture all of a sudden. You know? I am shocked. <laughs> I I might have been asked to procure it for my Brother's ex-girlfriend. Oh wow! Some, a good while ago. <laughs> that, that is my connection. Well, well, there you go. Um. Hey, just because I'm a Marine Corp doesn't mean I don't have time between crayon eating to read some classical literature, Jonas. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll take everything back. I'm very impressed by your by your erudition. Or and lock it behind us. There's some light coming in from the vents. Enough so we can rummage uh, for stuff when needed. Uh, that character, fun fact, because I remember yes. that. Uh, that character's prisoner number is is four six zero one. Oh, oh. container we're in. I don't know what that reference is doing here. Uh, I mean, I guess the developer really out. liked the story. Maybe. Maybe. We head towards the far back and settle in for our trip to who knows where. <laughs> for the Pacific, that's like... Um, guys, I have to pee. <laughs> Let's scrunch for one of the buckets, Yunji. Pretty much how time goes. <laughs> Shitting in a bucket. 
after a month. We scrounge for food and water that Kang Joe left. We sleep, we try to entertain each other. I try to bolster their spirits about going to the west. <sighs> There's this cool place called Las Vegas. We can spend all day ignoring natural desert beauty and instead stay inside dropping quarters in slot machines while drinking free booze. Tell me stories about their parents. I think it's cathartic for them. To keep ourselves from going bonkers from being locked up in a shipping container out at sea. Definitely, at least none of us got seasick. Finally, after who knows how many days, I hear people talking about the container. They seem somewhat distressed. And that's getting lifted into the air, likely by a crane. Did you catch any of what they said? Rian said something about not being uh, behind the shipment. I can't make out what any of the other people said, so I don't know what language they're speaking. Now, did you happen to hear the Korean mention where we were? I think I heard someone say, Welcome to Duress, when we arrived in port. Damn, I know that's in Europe, but I can't recall where. You sailed from North Korea to Europe in a shipping container? That, that is like the furthest you can sail, Duress almost. And... <laughs> Jesus Christ. My God, that's that's Who been is, who's importing a these long time? Who's importing these North Korean <laughs> clothes? Those. I mean, if going to Europe by international shipping, it's probably the Netherlands. But uh, I guess we'll see. I don't know where duress is. Oh, hands maybe. It felt like we were in the air there for a bit, so I think we're not in the ship anymore. We must be in a cargo truck heading somewhere. I'm afraid I didn't catch where the truck is heading. I suppose we'll find out when we get there. We should change back to our uniforms. We can officially surrender our citizenship at the nearest embassy. We're from the tr uh, uh, North Korea after all. Chelsea said as the truck rumbles along the road for hours. I mean, you've been in this container for like. Weeks, so months, like, probably. I uh... right, like a couple of hours is, is just of being filthy, sort of crusted with sweat and, and whatever <laughs> else. It's just like it's not gonna be. God damn. We have to do one interesting conversation on the right, though. Mostly, I tell them about the West. I end up like in Hungary, who doesn't understand anything they say. I must to tell them how nice it is. Beautiful scenery, friendly people, opportunity. I probably sound like a commercial, but they sound excited. Finally, we appear to be pulling into somewhere to stop. I wait a few minutes to make sure pe before peeking out of the box. The coast is clear. Let's hop out. We get out of the box to stretch our legs in the sun. Uh, I'm taking a good look around. I notice what, whatever we are, it looks like a damned war stone. Like in Syria or something. <laughs> what is this? Let me just, let me just Google Syria. <laughs> <to rest. laughs> uh, Republic of Al Albania. I mean, that makes so sense. I, city in the Republic of Albania. I, I guess North Korea would ship to Albania, right? Maybe. 
this really thing is they'll see damages from water shellings in the buildings around us. The air doesn't smell so good as well. Can you make out where we are at all? This is Plans around trying to find a marker. Not too far down flies a flag over a building. Red flag with black bird. No, Albania. Bad news and more bad news. Wonderful. And what would be? Go to Albania. This is the west? Wow, the west sucks. Even Pyongyang didn't look this quite this bad. Wow, what a slight against the rest. What? You think this is bad, right? Why don't you get home to Detroit? Oh! What? What? What kind of ending is that? Well, I mean, I, I guess... What the fuck, my guy? Who was the agent lady? Maybe it's one of those things where you have to play both, like, all the endings to get the real secret oh ending. Oh my god. But I did see there's a grayed out skip button, so I feel like we can just... Maybe. Oh man, I don't know if I have an image to start <laughs> play this <Yeah>. again. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little disappointed, honestly. Yeah, oh, uh, I feel like it was, it was uh, like, wait, these statues, you never saw these statues. Yeah, Probably exactly. Gonna... But I want, yes. I want reptile people in rubber masks. And, yeah. You know? I was getting so good there for a second. How do you... Uh... Like, mm, yeah, I don't know. You should it's about. I was just ready for like a Metal Gear Solid. Like, some, suddenly the gameplay could start. And all the other stuff was just like prologue to the, I don't know, managerial sim of earning money to go back to America in like Albania. I'd be okay with that, you know? High concept. Well, I, um, you know what, I'm going to end the episode here at least. We have played through it once. Uh, we, we, have, we have some of the extras here, certainly. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But the ending in Albania. It does, it does seem to be, yeah. In like a secret way. I don't know. It has to be ending. I mean, otherwise, it's not a dating set. No, I guess so. I'll. You know what? We'll, we'll end the episode here. I'll have a think. Maybe yeah, check if there is a secret ending and if it's worth maybe play through it again. Uh, on fast forward, like you wouldn't believe. Uh, because yeah, I agree. I, I don't. I don't like when when games hide their good stuff. You know, behind multiple playthroughs. Uh, because I don't really have time to do that these days, <laughs> unfortunately. I, I just this was. I mean, let, let, let's just talk about it. Let's talk about it. Right? Yeah, let's just talk a little bit about we, this. We finish this. We have time. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I feel like. <laughs> gonna turn that music down. Yeah, this is gonna. <laughs> um, I feel like we were teased. Yeah. It oh, for tried, sure. Right. Like, and it was like, oh, oh, the great leader has given us special permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I love the guy. The, the like, but but I feel like we didn't. It wasn't realized. Right? Like, it's, the whole ending yeah. there, there was very few choices. It was mostly just sort of... Then this happened. And then that's that. Really. Like, like ever since we just... Really, our choices were Yunji, 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 Yunji. And then the rest was just the ending. Yeah, I don't know. It's... it's it's Usually, it, it's being forced to react to crazy shit. That yeah. Makes these, like, interesting and then sort of... I mean, I, I guess, like, like I don't know. The the we played multiple uh, multiple ways of the of the tank game, but that was because it was like the the tank girls were so crazy that you could immediately sense that there was going to be some pretty good stuff. Like if depending on who you hung out with, like mm -hmm. like Panzer Four, who didn't accept that the war, <laughs> like he lost the war, and like, and, and like. Well, I heard that the German army wasn't the reason that the. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like Stalin 2, which which was just like one of the best dating experiences ever. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the Russian bar, and, and there was nothing of that here. No. You know, like, there, there was little jokes around, you know, kind of lazy. <laughs> North Korea doesn't have food. Yeah, you know. kind of lazy. Um, I wanted... But I felt like it was very, like, I'm not sure if the game tried to be funny or if it tried to be like, okay, let's have a serious thing about it. Yeah. To visit North Korea. Because what I loved, like, with, <coughs> with the, oh, excuse me, with the Panzer game was that, like, when you, when you went on a date like, with Stalin 2 and you went to that theme park and then, like, the huge, monstrous, like, the, 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 like Mother Russia statue that actually exists, that that is a thing that really exists. And like, they, I, I like they brought in like the crazy from like the world, you know, there's so much weird shit going on, especially in North Korea, that I think you should really lean into that much more and just, just not be like, here's a background of an empty stadium and we are telling you that someone is singing that you can't see or that you don't care about. And we tell you that, oh, she's very popular, she sings old songs and you're like, oh, oh, oh. Or Korea so far behind. No, it would have been like, no, we're gonna go and see the great leader's speech, and then there's like a huge picture of him, and and then you know they, they have actually sampled in some of the speech. Like, like, go for it, you know. You know, who are you gonna insult? Who's gonna be mad? Yeah, exactly. Austria it's... is the most satirized dictatorship in the world. Exactly. Yeah, I, I feel like again the concept. It's a high concept. Stay, stay North Korea. Didn't expect, it didn't expect to be about escaping. No. Thought we'd be. Maybe, maybe like. Uh, maybe married to the great leader and like. Something. Yeah, exactly. What a crazy. Dating the great leader right? would have been the best and thing ever. It, like, you put, like, there's like three girls and one of them is like. They constantly push you towards one of them, so you'll obviously go for another one. Yeah. But then the others like die off if you yeah. do. So they could be the great leader, who, who's, oh, you know, yeah. who's in the end he pulls off the mask. And it's like, you know, and and this. Yeah, I know exactly like that. And and uh, you know, and I just feel like and you get a Putin there too, if you really wanted he, to get he, into he. it. And, exactly. And you, you, like, there's so much you could do with it, right? even with a low art budget and such. But I don't know who actually wants to go just to visit North Korea. Yeah, is that I, even, like the whole stadium thing? And it didn't feel like I wanted the dates. Yeah, the I beach wanted... episode had yeah, like it was yeah. like yeah, it didn't really. Of... It felt like filler. Yeah, it felt like there has to be a beach episode. It, it felt like they they sat down and they were like, okay, our concept, we're North Korea, we we got the Kickstarter, and then they looked at it and went, so what what could we actually put in it? Yeah, I'm like I don't know. I mean. Just sort of put in like some like beach thing and you visit places and your date and there's some jokes about the the genre and like about America and you know it's like yeah. it's written by a couple guys in the afternoon, but not like not like why they were having a good time. No, I, I do wonder if there was some mess up with the production of the game. Or maybe all the good shit is just in the secret ending. It could also be. Um, but usually with a concept like this, you would want to go into it more. Like, give people something more. Like, I know the bird dating game. I watched other people yeah. play that, but, you know. And there at least you get to date birds, which is weird. Until you get to the, the secret ending, which is just fucking off the rails crazy. Um... So, so yeah. yeah I, it's it's. Have you have you watched that? Or? I have I have I watched a few playthroughs of uh, of Hatful Boyfriend. Yeah, mm -hmm. it when you, like everything turns into pudding and there's like an assassin guild and you're like it yeah, just, and the hawks and the yeah and and it's just like the political games of but, yeah, like, what the secret the and the doctor yeah, yeah. The doctor. <laughs> you know like <laughs> everyone gives you a piece of a puzzle. Of a greater yeah. puzzle, right? And then we have all the pieces, shit goes nuts. Yeah. This didn't feel like, I don't have any pieces of the puzzle. No. Does that make I, sense? I don't feel like, I, there was like a weird agent lady who was, who was just... That just needed... I, and offensive, and then... I was so ready for that to just explode. And he was uh, like, well, you know, things are gonna go crazy now. And then, then it, they it, did it. it. Uh, a, well, I mean, I, it kind of did. 
but it, it didn't. It sort of like, and now you have to escape, and then you did. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, you okay, have, well, I have, I have this yeah. risky plan to escape, and now you're like, oh, that, well, that I guess, okay. I, I guess, I guess we did. All right, well, I, if, like, if I made a game like this, even like just turn the graphics into pixel graphics, right? You want to go cheap. <laughs> have people stuck in a container, and now it's about managing food and water supplies, <laughs> and avoiding the, the the people on the boat. Some something like that. Just mix it up. Yeah. Throw Do something you... in. There. Yeah. 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 So all in all, I'll say I probably f I feel a little let down. Yeah. Like it's a little bit of a disappointment. Um, yeah. Yeah. For sure. The quality of the art is good when when it's there. Um, they didn't really do a lot with it. It has that lot of those big empty scenes. At least I'll say it wasn't about a high school. Not again, North Korean <laughs> high school could be fun. It it could, but given this, we would just go to class a couple times and then pick a date for prom and then go to the prom <laughs> and go home. Like, yeah, I guess, I guess. But, but um. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can comment what what you what you think. You know, I'd like to see what other people have having to listen to us go through it. And I'll say it, it certainly didn't didn't have a bite. It didn't have the. And I thought the people who made the tank one would go really into the material. You know, just yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's a way of the wicked throne of night sort of situation. Like, yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's. Uh, I, I agree. It's there were some fun things in there, but a bit of a disappointment. Giving the the awesome like, you know, premise. Premise. Yeah. Let's see here. Stay, stay, North Korea. What do people say about it? Ah. Uh... These reviews are, are mostly people just saying it's good. Hey, does it say why it's good? Uh, this person says, I don't really like dating sims, but I laughed a ton at, this, at all the self-aware humor. Uh... There's plenty of political and social jabs as well. The characters were all very enjoyable, and the storyline was very engaging. There were a couple of twists, naturally there were a couple of... Uh, thirst traps for weaves. I was playing the clothed version. I also saw nothing uh, that may have traumatized my vanilla brain. The gameplay was exactly what I wanted and expected from the genre. Uh, but there are indeed branching paths and four different endings. On all the writing has high quality. It's unlikely you'll get many hours of enjoyment out of this game though. Uh, I finished it all in one night. Highly recommend. Uh -huh. So here says 11 out of 10. Great game. Great art. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Yeah, oh, there's someone here who says they don't like it. Yeah, I am. Um... I can't argue the game is the best political jokes. Felt like it ripped me off. You know, the summer sale. There's some wordplay. Overall dialogues are plain, the plot boring, both heroes are very predictable. 60% of the con of the content is about military history. Feels like reading a wiki page. <laughs> yeah, well, a bad wiki page. It didn't have that much interesting on it. Like when we went to the museum, I wanted it to go like full, you know, full crazy propaganda. I wanted to see yeah. statues. I wanted to see flags. I wanted, you know, I wanted everything, but it was just eh, kind of. Moreover, when it comes to VNs, essential scenes should be accompanied by, by CGs. I agree. Uh, but somehow we've got two endings sharing a single picture. You and the hero in standing in ruined city, that's all. You and the Price did something to have cheap, lazy. Alright. Um, 
Oh, apparently, a lot of people love it. <laughs> but that guy spoke the truth. <laughs> that that guy. That's very positive. Yeah. I, I find that uh, interesting. Does this game portray portray communism? As a Marx enthusiast, <laughs> actually. I'm thinking about connoisseur when it comes to what the. What are you uh, talking about, man? As a Marxist in Syria, maybe you shouldn't look at North Korea to be communist. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So what? What was the whole gunny warning us about stuff in our dreams? I don't know. It, it I was know. fine though. Like everything was fine. Everything was fine. There was never any danger ever. I felt. Um, like the the. The boob grab scene felt like thrown in just very suddenly and weird. Uh, I don't know what they're about. Uh, and, and the CIA lady, like, no, you need to... Stuff like that needs to be explored. You need to drop weird hints about reality and our place in it. And, and like, follow the white rabbit. Like, I want to, you know... Mm -hmm. You just need to be a drunk. You know. Or maybe we're just we're just lucky and got like the good everything went okay ending. But you know, we, we I feel like we worked for it. Yeah, did we? We, did we, hard. we managed to pick just the best things ever. That seems kind of weird. Because because we just sort of. I guess maybe it's just maybe it's just not for me, you know? Yeah, I guess I guess Even that's for how people it is. who actually do enjoy visual novels. And not just like like them ironically because they get crazy. But like Remember the Yelpaka one? Paka Plus. Crazy shit. Tank, tank game. Yeah. Crazy shit. Ah, folks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe this is, uh... Maybe this is it. Yeah. Yeah. If a, if a lot of people say that you want to see more, <laughs> maybe they will do it. But if um, someone hints that there is uh, like a, a crazy thing we have to see, then yeah, maybe we'll go back to take a look at this. But yeah, I don't know. I, I um, there's been there's been hits and misses with the dating games uh, for sure. It's hard to see from the start because some stuff that you like that you think could be fun it shows uh, you know, it's pretty mediocre and some stuff that you like have no idea what the fuck it is has turned out to be surprisingly enjoyable like the Paka, alpaca game was like i i thought that was going to be like a five minute you know silly thing but it turned it's hilariously out, uncomfortable yeah but it turned out into like one of the most epic love stories you know ever <laughs> <laughs> about a man and his eternal hatred for alpacas and how that curse <laughs> of the alpaca and his crazy love yeah and another man and his crazy love for an alpaca and about dressing up the girliest boy in the class in the maid outfit oh, gosh. and like all of the you're like what oh. the fuck is going on here <laughs> I remember that uh, and then like the, the, the CG mm. of the alpaca jumping the high jump like oh. mm. and it's um yeah, there, there is some stuff there for sure. Yeah, yeah. and if you people yeah. happen to know more, you know, yeah. games Post. that they think would fit, yep. visual novels that they think would fit, yep. we're looking for, then, then please. 
Yep. Feel free to post below. I do enjoy the insane thing. But this was just kind of. There is a, there is something insane. called the horse prince, uh, which is a, a horse with a human prince face that you date. Uh, I don't know if that is actually a game or just a picture I saw, uh, but I remember reading about it a couple of years ago. Maybe that would be the next thing. The horse prince. Yeah. My horse prince. I'm my horse prince. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, you see, you see that picture? <laughs> <laughs> Will you be my owner? <laughs> uh, oh gosh. I feel like all these reviews are jokes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the thing. It's it that's why I feel like it's a it's a joke like the shark dating game where it, it takes half an hour to play and then you're done. But um Which is okay. Alright, that's okay, yeah. Doesn't need to be ten hour epics, certainly. Not everything can be the alpaca game. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I guess that's it for now, folks. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun, uh, even though there were some slow spots for sure in this game. Uh, and uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.